In this lecture, we will learn about the graphs of sine, cosine, and tangent. Now, the first graph we are going to learn today is that of sine. So, as you can see here, sine of x is a periodic function if x is the values of angle or x is basically just numbers from 0 to 360. The graph of sine it repeats itself. Hence, the graph of sine is a periodic graph or the sine function is a periodic function which means it repeats itself after a certain interval and that interval in this case is the 2 pi or we can say its time period is 2 pi time period is the time taken for one complete cycle or for one complete revolution after which the function repeats itself so the time period for the sine graph is from 0 to 2 pi after this it is repeating itself and you can also see that this graph of sine is not symmetrical about the y-axis right and sine of x is positive or negative 1 when x has odd multiples of pi by 2 or x is an odd multiple of 90 degrees, right? So as you can see here that when x was pi by 2, sine was 1. When x was 3 pi by 2, or 270 degrees, sine was negative 1. When x was negative pi by 2, sine was negative 1. When x was negative 3 pi by 2, sine was positive 1. Right? And the points at which the graph of sine of x plus the x-axis are the whole number multiples of 180 degrees or pi. So, sine of x is 0 when x is you can write it as n dash into pi or n dash into 180. Here in this case, n is odd and sine x equals to positive 191 and here in this case, n is whole number or let's say integer. Any integer because whole numbers are always positive, integer can be negative. Right? So n is negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, 0, 1, 2, 3 and here n is 1, 3, 5, or negative 1, negative 3, and negative 5. Alright? And sine x is a periodic function, and the period of sine is 2 pi. Now, moving on to the next graph, which is that of cosine. Now, in this, we can see that cosine of x is also a periodic function, and the period of cosine of x is from 0. Till 2 pi after 2 pi repeats itself, right? So the period of cosine is same as that of sine. So sine of x is also a periodic function. And period is 2 pi or 360 degrees. 2 pi radians or 360 degrees. Right? We have le already learned radians in the chapter circular measure. And we know that from the graph that cos of x is positive or negative 1 when x is the integer multiple of pi or x is the integer multiple of 180 degrees all right and here in this case is an integer so let's verify this let's say n is negative 1 so at negative 5 cos is negative 1 and at positive pi when n is 1 cos is negative 1 and when 0 pi when n is 0 cos is positive 1 when n is 2 cos is 1 when n is 0 uh, when n is negative 2 cos 1 again right and we can see that the graph of cos x is symmetrical about the y-axis y-axis is acting at the mirror line in the case of cosine of x right and cosine of x is 0 when x is let's say at pi by 2, 3 pi by 2, negative pi by 2, and negative 3 pi by 2. So, n complement into pi by 2, or n into 90 degrees, where n is an odd integer, or an odd number. Alright, now moving on to the graph of tangent. Now here, you can see that this graph of tangent, it is not defined for this line. 
right? Tangent of 270 is undefined. Or if you do it in your calculator, tangent of 270 will get a match error. Or if your calculator is in the radian mode, radian mode it will give you 3 pi by 2 match error. Now why is this so? Because tangent basically is tan of x is sine of x over cos of x. This is also an identity which you will learn later on in this chapter. Tan of x over cos of x. So let's say I need to find tan 3 pi by 2. Right? Or tan 270 degrees. 3 pi by 2 radian. So it will give me sine 3 pi by 2 over cos 3 pi by 2. Right? Now what is sine 3 pi by 2? Let's look. Sine 3 pi by 2 is negative 1. Alright, and cos 3 pi by 2 is 0. Now anything divided by 0 is infinity or you can say that it is not possible. Right? There is no value. Hence, that's why the calculator will give you a math error. Same goes for 10 pi by 2, 10 negative pi by 2, 10 negative 3 by 3 pi by 2 because at these angles, negative 3 pi by 2, negative pi by 2, pi by 2, 3 pi by 2, the denominator in this equation, which is cos of x, gets equal to 0, right? And you get a math error. So, one thing is for sure that when tan of x equal to infinity, or you can say math error, when x is n into pi by 2, where n is an odd integer or an odd number, right? See, 3 pi by 2, pi by 2, negative 1 pi by 2, and negative 3 pi by 2. And also, the graph of tangent of x crosses the x-axis when tan of x is 0, when x is a whole number multiple, of pi or an integral multiple of pi, integer multiple, integer, right? For example, at tan 0 pi, we get 0, tan 1 pi, we get 0, tan negative pi, negative 1 pi, we get 0, tan negative 2 pi, we get 0 again, all right? So, these are some basic ground rules for the plotting of tan, cosine, and sine graph.